Gonna start this one off by talking about something everyone needs to know before upgrading their gear. But before that, a quick message from our sponsor, Exit Lag. Arc Age is a super ping sensitive game, especially for people like me that are forced to play with like 250 ping. To combat this, I play with Exit Lag as it lowers my ping by 100. Real talk, I would not play this game without it. Exit Lag is a tunneling service that can lower your ping by insane amounts. It reduces ping, fixes routing issues, and prevents packet loss. It also increases DPS and game response time, which makes the game a lot smoother. The Exit Lag server is also on the same data server as ArcAge. They work with servers worldwide to optimize the gamer's connection, which allows the gamer to play in different regions. And the best part about it is that you could try it for free for three days without having to put any credit card information in. The program is super easy to use too. You simply load it up, select the game, select and compare different game regions to find the lowest ping, or simply just hit the optimize button and hit apply. Load the game up normally as you would and you're done. I've tried all the tunneling services and this one has outperformed all of the rest by far. If you'd like to try the service or purchase it, click on my link below in the description and automatically receive a 20% discount on your purchase. When you begin the game, you'll receive a box containing gear from the very beginning quest. We're going to call this quest gear from here on out. This gear can be and will be upgraded into your Hiram set. So really we have phase 1 and phase 2. Phase 1 being its quest gear and phase 2 which is when it turns into Hiram gear. You'll upgrade the quest gear a total of three times before it turns into the Hiram set. This upgrading process is called awakening. The first time you awaken quest gear there will be a level requirement of 28 to equip it. The second time you awaken the quest gear, there will be a level requirement of 40 to equip it. The third time you awaken the quest gear, there will be a level requirement of 50 to equip it. The third time you awaken the quest gear, it will turn into Tier 1 Hiram. At Hiram, you can awaken it all the way to Tier 4. Whether you're dealing with the quest gear or Hiram gear, in order to awaken it, you need to enhance the grade of the gear by simply feeding it infusions. While you do this, you'll notice that the grade of the gear changes color. Each time it goes up a grade, you get one free stat replacement roll. You'll eventually get three stats that appear on each piece of gear. These stats are rolled from a pool of stats that you can view by opening up your gear upgrade menu from your inventory and clicking on the magnifying glass. These stats are very important and you want to make sure you have the three stats you want. Now here's the important part. You can break down your quest gear at any time and get back all the infusions and awakening scrolls that you've put into that piece of gear. So for example, if you've used four infusions in one scroll on your weapon, you can break down that weapon to get back the four infusions and one scroll. You can do this by going to a blacksmith and purchasing a beginner catalyst stone and using that item on the piece of gear you want to break down. This is important because you cannot do this for your Hiram set. If your quest set have shit stat rolls, those stats will transfer into the Hiram set when you upgrade it. Before upgrading it to the Hiram set, consider that you can break down every piece of gear and get the stats you want at the cost of minimal gold and some labor. The last thing you want is to have your Hiram set leveled all the way up but without the stats you want, forcing you to either play with suboptimal gear or doing the whole process over again. If you do want to do this, simply go to any weapon or armor merchant to repurchase the base level gear that you just broke down. You'll see a lot of options from the armor merchant because he allows you to buy any set from all the races. It doesn't matter which you choose because they're all the same and they will all eventually have the same look after you upgrade it anyway. The second thing you need to know before starting Arc Age is what weapon you will choose. I'm not here to tell you what weapon to use, but I am here to give you the information that you need to know to make your own decision. So Arcage has a wide variety of weapons that you could choose from, especially if you're playing melee. In the past, there were hidden procs that each weapon had that greatly influenced players into using a certain weapon type. For example, a Nodachi used to have a proc that would make the next attack critically hit. All of these hidden procs are now removed from the game. So Short Spear's puncturing, Axe's bleeding, Nodachi's critting, all these procs are gone. Instead, there is a larger emphasis on the type of attack along with the attack speed and damage range. First, there are three types of attacks, slashing, piercing, and crushing. If you have an axe equipped, your attacks will be considered crushing. If you have a dagger, 
your attacks will be considered slashing. Crushing weapons deal 20% more damage to plate on proc. Piercing weapons deal 15% more damage to plate on proc. And slashing weapons deal 15% more damage to leather on proc. Notice I said on proc. The bonus damage from the weapon type is a 50% chance proc. So no, you will not be doing 20% more damage for every attack if you're using an axe against plate users. Next we have the damage range on the weapons. There is a value that's next to the DPS which is a formula that considers weapon speed as well as damage range. The damage range is what is listed in the parentheses. The actual damage you do is scaled off of the damage range, not the number next to DPS. Axes and spears have the highest damage range but the slowest weapon speeds, while daggers have the lowest damage range but fastest weapon speed. In regards to weapon speed, 0.1 is equivalent to 10% attack speed for melee skills only. There are no diminishing returns to this like there is with attack speed that's listed in your character sheet. The speed of your melee skills will be determined by both your weapon and attack speed. The lower your attack speed percentage, the lower your weapon speed, the faster you are. Another thing to know is that the weapon you have equipped in your main hand is going to be the only weapon considered when it comes to weapon speed and damage range. In other words, if you are dual wielding an axe in your main hand and a dagger in your offhand, the attack type, weapon speed, and damage range will all be scaled from the axe. The stats from your offhand as well as the gems that are in it are the only contributing factors for an offhand weapon unless you are playing swift blade. There are skills in the swift blade tree that has additional damage damage from the offhand weapon. If you were to equip a dagger in your main hand and an axe in your offhand, you'll get the speed from the dagger and also a good chunk of damage coming from your axe because of the mechanics of swift blade. Speaking of speed, I want to talk a little bit more about that. Ping is a huge factor in Arcage as it directly affects attack speed. I've measured that 100 ping is roughly a 10% attack speed decrease. So players that are playing with 200 ping out the gate are essentially playing with a 20% attack speed debuff. This is pretty crucial when it comes to choosing your weapon and weapon setup. Should I go dual wield or two hand? Should I go great axe? Well to be honest it really depends on how much attack speed you'll be getting and what your ping is. The goal is to go with a weapon that will allow you to be fast enough to fully combo someone during a trip rotation. You should never go two handed great axe if your build does not give you any attack speed bonuses and you play with 150 plus ping. You won't even be able to do a sunder earth to precision strike during a trip rotation. In the video you're watching now I'm testing the extent of my combo using different weapons and build setups. I hope this information has helped and as always let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before you go I would like to make a quick little announcement. I'll be doing a 24 hour stream for launch and a giveaway right before the servers go up. Join me on Twitch as I'll be doing the giveaway over stream. I'll be giving away one copy of Arc Age Unchained. If you haven't already please join me in the 1HP community discord. The info is in the description below. Also, please follow me on Twitter as I have like zero followers there and it's a platform I'd really like to build up as well as my Twitch. Again, I hope to see you for the giveaway, which there is a countdown for on my Twitch page. Join me and have a chance to win a free Arcage Unchained account. See you there.